Microsoft Edge helps save you time, money, and peace of mind. With incredible speed and security, Microsoft Edge makes staying in the flow safer and simple by being tailored to how you manage your browsing and adapting to your preferences. Stay protected with built-in security features that scan and block potentially dangerous sites. Check your saved passwords for breaches and help generate strong passwords anytime you make a new account. Microsoft Edge offers the highest rated protection against phishing and malware attacks on Windows 10. For younger users, Microsoft Edge also has Kids Mode, which offers a fun, tailored experience with added protection for web users ages 5 to 12. Save money with automatic coupon, price comparisons, and price history tools. Make money for yourself or even your favorite causes with cash back and Microsoft rewards in Bing. Explore what awaits when you expect more from your browser. Use the browser that puts you first today with Microsoft Edge. Security, speed, and innovation built for you. Your morning starts now. It's the Q102 Jeff and Jen podcast brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy. Alicia is looking for a second date update today with a guy named James. Hi, Alicia. How are you? Hey. Hey, guys. This is so fun. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. I'm so excited to talk to you. Well, it's good to talk to you. Why don't you take us to the beginning, tell us how you met James and how that first date went. We'll go from there. Okay, sure. So, I mean, I'm really counting on you guys to figure this out for me. So, I, I met this guy on Match, and we went out twice. Twice? Um, uh, yeah, twice. Okay, so this is like a third date update. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. We had a quick lunch date just, um, you know, to get a feel if there was anything there. And we did a dinner a few days later, and everything was so awesome. I mean, we went to Soto and just had the best time. We had lots of wine, lots of great conversation. I mean, we talked, we laughed about everything. And we're both divorced, so no kids, and, and we both feel like we learned a lot from our marriages, and we don't want to rush into anything serious. And we both have to look and have a good time with somebody. We enjoy spending time and seeing where it goes. I mean, I mean, seriously, the date couldn't have gone any better. And, and we did end up back at my place, and we did stay the night, and that was pretty fantastic. So we could have some serious chemistry. I mean, we did, but, I mean, it could even get better. I just have been so excited ever since he left the next morning. But, like, until two days passed and he didn't call me. So, help. Uh, did you say, I'm sorry, I was taking notes when you were talking. I got that you're both divorced. Did you say you do or do not have children? No kids. Neither have kids, which is good. Gotcha. And and there's no there are no leftover remnants from these relationships. Like so these exes are both kind of out of your lives. They're not still lingering. They're not meddling. No, not right. Nope. Nope. Go on. Issue. Okay. And no big deal. I mean I mean, yeah, whatever, big deal, but it's not a big deal. It's done. <laughs> so obviously he passed the lunch test, which led to dinner, and that led to him staying over. Yeah. So great chemistry from the get go, and I assume based on your level of enthusiasm that the chemistry at your place must have been off the charts. It was pretty fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Did you get a sense of what his level of enthusiasm was as he was leaving? Like, did you get a sense that he definitely wanted to see you again? Was he kind of cool? I mean, no. I, like, I mean, we had a good time the night before. And uh, we just said goodbye in the morning. And I, from the way it was, I thought, you know, I thought he'd be calling, you know, even later that day. Hmm. I think that's a crucial time, the goodbye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's when you really want to read him. And you get answers, too, whether you know it or not. But you didn't nail well, him down on a future plan or commitment. No, it just seemed natural. Like, we'd talk later. I, it just seemed really, um, really easy, you know? Yeah. A foregone conclusion. Kind of assumed. Yeah. Yeah. But everything went well. Did you say you stayed at his house or your house? My house. Your house. Surrounded by your yeah. things. He didn't come across yeah. anything in your place that could have been unsettling to him in some way. No, I don't think so. I mean, and I, I'm not like a hoarder or anything. Right. Uh, no, no extensive gun collections or anything like that. <laughs> no. 
Okay. No, uh-uh. Right. Okay. No. Well, why don't we take a break then? When we come back, we'll call James and see what he thought of you and his couple dates and night at your house. And I hook up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so Alicia met James on Match. Uh, they've gone out a couple of times, actually. They did a lunch, they did a dinner, and they did a hookup. He stayed at her place. And she said, in her opinion, it went wonderfully. Fantastic. Everything was great. Was left with the impression she'd see him again. That was, what, about a week ago, you said? Yeah. But nothing from James. So we're going to call him up, see what's up. If you're ready. I'm ready. All right. All right, let's do it. it. Hello? Hi, can we speak to James, please? Uh, Just one second. Sorry, yeah, this is James. Oh, all right. Well, hello, James. It's Jeff, Jen, Fritch, and Tim at Q102. How are you doing this morning? Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't, uh, are you, why are you calling me? Why? <laughs> we were under the impression you went on a date with a woman named Alicia, a couple dates, actually, and uh, she said you were a very nice guy. She enjoyed her time with you. Was hoping to see you again, but I guess it's been a bit since you last reached out, and now she's wondering uh, uh, if she did something wrong. I mean, you got something I else don't going know. on. I I had fun with her, like you know, we I don't know, I don't know how much she told you. Like we went back to her place, and um, she did say you went back was, to her place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. She thought that went well, by the way, for what Very it's worth. Very well. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Well done. It was just kind of weird. In a freaky good way or like in a unsettling it, it, way? Like, I don't know. We we got dinner and I felt like we really connected. It was like the whole night was great. And then while we were like, you know, going at it, <laughs> um, things were getting really intense. And then she was like, bite me oh like physically like, like really bite you with teeth she was like really bite me like with my teeth and i think she's really into vampire stuff Ooh, like what kind of so you don't mean stuff? like a little <laughs> playful nibble so she was nibbling no, and biting dude. you and then she asked you to bite her like she she lit candles before we got undressed oh, that's romantic like, oh that's that's kind of romantic. And then it wasn't until later that I realized like she's been wearing really heavy eyeliner all night. Like she's in the vampire. Oh. <laughs> like so she, she was re- trying to sell like looked, a vampire vibe kind of thing. I looked on, I looked on her bookshelves. Like when I was like, she was like, bite me. And I was like, Oh, I don't know. And I like tried to look around and be like, I don't, is there, you know what? And I realized she had all these like vampire novels on her bedside table, which I think, I guess they're really sexy. And is it Black Dagger Brotherhood by J.R. Ward? What? There's a whole series. Yeah, there's actually there is a ton of different authors that write these long series of books. I think there are some that have like twenty, thirty, forty books in a series. Uh, and I'm talking books that are you know three and four and five hundred pages long of vampire. Uh. Yeah, and it's a lot. There's a lot of, there's a lot of sex in the books. So you saw all these books, and you saw all these candles, and you kind of did the math, and we're like, oh, she's like going for a she's certain scenario for like here. A thing, and she was just like, she kept telling me to bite her, and then at one point, so I like, I like, I like gave her a nipple, and she was like, no, you make me bleed. No, so you she t- make wow. me bleed. Wow. Yeah. Right. Did she provide yeah. you with a cape? Or anything to help you yeah, get like the... not all vampires, man. She was like, she was like, bite my. She had me like biting her neck, her wrist. She had me biting her inner thighs because that's apparently where vampires feed. That's what she told me. Well, that's that so big that's artery, vein, right, or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, and she was like, she and, and seriously, she was like, make me bleed you. I think she wanted me to break her skin. Did, but you didn't break her skin, right? Look, I am all for role-playing. It is Pride Month. I am not here to kink shame. But 
to whip this out the first time we sleep together, you know? Right. What's going to happen in a year? Uh, I, I don't know. Please, you loved every second of it. I, and I, don't, I don't buy for one minute that that's the reason you didn't call me. You oh, loved it. Oh, God, there she is. By the way, uh, Alicia's on the line. You really scared the hell out of me, like, more than once. And I am still applying ointment from the places where you left teeth marks on me. Oh, I get it. So I didn't know vampires bite each other. Is that how it works? Well, if it's two vampires, sure, why not? Yes, yeah, I guess and the men. Yeah. Some of them have different. Yes, the men, well, the men love it when the women feed off of them. It's very erotic. Oh. Yeah, that is not what I'm into. Mm. You seem to love it at the time. Well, once the train has left the station, how do you? Yeah. I was, like, scared you were going to stab me if I make a blood sacrifice out of me. No, you bring up a good point <laughs> there. I mean, this is the novelty, and it's maybe okay in, like, a controlled environment, but, like, this is our first date. Is this going to be a thing? If this is the beginning point. Oh, you barely scratched the surface. Yeah, what, it's like, what I don't comes know, next? This, yeah, what comes next? Wouldn't you love to know? <laughs> I'm, I, now I'm a little curious, because I don't think I'm going to go out with you again, but if you want to tell me... <laughs> no, you're just going to have to miss out then. Well, I'm sorry, Alicia. Well, thanks for finding out anyway. <laughs> this is got so your answer. weird. I know nothing about any of this. Is this like, this is like Twilight, right? Jen, you were into that. Um, well, I mean, what was the movie with I Brad love, Pitt? I love the, oh, well, that's kind of where the vampire stuff probably started. Cause that was pretty hot. But I mean, I'm, I'm. I love the J.R. Ward books, the Black Dagger Brotherhood work books. They're great. And uh, are you into biting? Am I into biting? No. Yeah. no. Guys, I'm sorry. The stuff Alicia's into makes Twilight look like Barney the Dinosaur. Yeah, it does. The other books do, for sure. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's vampire porn. I've never watched it, but I know it's there. It's just another thing. One, <laughs> two. Yeah, these vampires aren't Count Dracula. <laughs> Three. Well, James, we appreciate you taking the call. Yeah, sorry for letting Alicia down, but that's just, it's, it's not happening. What I see in the in the vampire books, why women tend to like them so much are the men are super alpha men. They're like, throw you up against the wall and murder you. Well, not so much, but really take charge and rip are, that garlic necklace like, off me. And it's kind of that savage kind of passion where a woman is being taken. You know, it's not like I'm going to make tender, sweet love to you, vampire stuff. It's, it's more like, of a rip your throat out. It's God. like, well, it's definitely rip your clothes off. And a woman would argue that uh, you know, sex with a vampire in these novels really, these women are feeling very wanted. I okay. want you. But hey, no, you want to come like on over that. to my Romanian castle? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's and it's not like vampires like that kind of vampire. That it's like these big. They're warriors. They're like you know, Count Chocula. Not Count Chocula. <laughs> no, these are big, beefy, muscular, alpha, massive men. You know a lot about this. <laughs> well, I do, I've read some of the books. Yeah. I highly recommend. All right. Well, James, thank you for the call. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for calling. All right. And Alicia, good luck to you. Hey, thanks. I'm going to find a guy out there. All right. Good luck. <laughs> hey, thanks. Good evening, my beauty. Rose. Oh, they're Jeff and beautiful. Aren't they beautiful, Jeffrey? Flowers. Don't touch the thorns. Mm. Stop it. Gotta watch out. Stop it. If you need any book recommendations, email me. And if you need some help with a second date update, send us an email. Jeff and Jenna, WKRQ.com. All right, let's check the roads again. We got... Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy.